Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, mine's kind of uneventful right now until later because I'm going to go to work. Um, I know I haven't put up a video in a while, so I figured I'd put one up now, like a beauty video or anything. Um, I think the last one I put up was my perfume collection, uh, and that was a little while ago. So I figured I'd put one up today. Um, this one is going to kind of be like a haul video. The reason I say like is one, I've never done a haul video, but from what I've seen from them, they're basically videos that um, that girls make of stuff or whoever makes of stuff that they've bought, like a bunch of stuff from a place, and um, they just kind of show what they got that day. Now the stuff I'm going to show you today is actually stuff I got a little while ago, and I didn't get them the same day, but they're the latest things that I bought and they're things that I really like, so I figured I'd like to show you guys really quickly, and if you're thinking of buying um, any stuff from, from these stores, um, I definitely recommend them. So, um, okay, here we go. Let's see what you think. Um, first thing I'm going to show you that I did buy a little while ago was some stuff I got from Victoria's Secret. If you've never been there, um, basically they sell a lot of stuff for women like uh, bras, panties, uh, intimate lingerie, uh, body lotions, body body washes, uh, perfumes and stuff like that. Just kind of really nice stuff to make you feel kind of pretty. Um, I don't usually go there for their lingerie and stuff like that, but I do like their shower gels and body lotions because it just smells so good. And um, they have a lot of nice ones in there, but I ended up getting uh, two of the ones that I personally really like. So if you've never been to Victoria's Secret, um, the bag looks li something like this. It's very pink and girly if you shop there. Um, they usually have a good deal with their body lotions uh, or, with, or with their uh, body care stuff that if you buy three for 25 or get five for 30, which isn't a bad deal, and I got the five for 30. Um, a couple of them I've already actually given to my mom because she likes these fragrances as well, but I kept some of the other ones. And I'll show you what I ended up getting. The two fragrances I really, really like one of them I'll show you is Strawberries and Champagne. I love this fragrance. I think it's so pretty and it pretty much smells like what it says, Wild Strawberries and Champagne. Um, and it's not like that fruity, weird, artificial strawberry smell. It's like fresh strawberries that you pick off, um, that you pick off the bush or whatever they come, whatever they come from. But, um, as stupid as that sounds, can you tell how smart I am? But, um, but yeah, no, they, they smell it smells really nice. It doesn't smell like artificial or gross or anything. So um, I definitely recommend that this one, if you've never had a Victoria's Secret fragrance at all, definitely get this one because this one's really pretty. Um, another one, oh yeah, and I also ended up getting a body lotion to match it too, which looks like that. And just even just the packaging itself is just really pretty. That's one of the things that definitely pulls you in there. It's just it's so pretty, it's girly, and it's just a nice thing to have and just kind of a luxurious thing to get. So I got a lotion for that as well, which is very nice to layer with. And another scent I really like from them is this one, which is called Pure Seduction. And this one has red plum and freesia. Now to me this one is definitely more of a fruity, really fruity, sweet smell to it. Like kind of a candy smell to it. Let me see. Yeah, definitely you smell plum, berries. Like that. this one to me smells like a candy, but I think that's why it's just very alluring. Um, I think this is, this is definitely a popular one. I see a lot of girls getting this one a lot. Um, so I definitely recommend this one as well. Like this one's maybe more more on the fresher, more sophisticated side, and this one's maybe more on the daring, kind of sexy side. But they're both really nice ones. Uh, so even if you don't like to get the um, undergarments or anything from Victoria's Secret, I definitely recommend getting their uh, their body lotions and body sprays and stuff because they are really nice. Um, their fragrances, their perfumes are nice too. Just in my opinion, some of them don't last too long, but they're nice. Uh, if you don't like something that's offensive or anything, then definitely go for it. But that is that. Um, so these are some of the things I ended up getting from Victoria's Secret. So definitely something I wanted to get, and I'm really happy that I did.
Next thing I'm going to show you guys is something I got, well actually two things that I ended up getting from another store that I really like, and I'm probably biased seeing that because I used to work there, but it's a good store. Um, I also ended up getting two new perfumes from Perfumania. Not that I really need two more perfumes. I mean, some of them I actually have gotten rid of or sold to a couple people just because I don't use them as much as, some of them I didn't use as much as I thought I would. But these are two that I really like that now I find myself using a lot. They're just so pretty. So I'll just show you what they are. So again, if you've never shopped at Perfumania, it comes in a bag like this. Um, they usually have really good deals that if you spend, if you spend over, uh, I'd say probably 50 or $100, depending on what it is, uh, you, they'll give you like a really nice bag, like a, a woman's bag, a men's bag. Sometimes there'll be perfumes in it for free. Um, they always have something called a manager special, and I'll tell more about that in a minute. Um, I'll show you what I did end up getting there first. Um, one thing that I ended up getting, a perfume that I really liked that I ended up getting, was this one. I had looked at it for a while. This one is called Fiori by Vince Camuto. Just the packaging itself is really, really pretty. Um, and it's all pink. It's different from the other, the original Vince Camuto perfume because that one's more of like a sweet, like a, a somewhat musky, sweet kind of perfume. This one to me is definitely more citrusy, beachy kind of smell to it. Um, also, too, I'll try to link the uh, the notes to these fragrances below in the uh, the description bar. But this is the top. That's it. Like that. And opening it up, it's kind of cool too when you look at this how it's packaged on the inside because you can tell it had good care for it. The way it, they took great great care in packaging this. So when you open it up, it looks like that because it has a really funky top. And these things come up like this. Out like that. Let's see, just there's, there was a lot of care put into this when they packaged it, so that's really good. So it's a good, it's a nice box to have for this perfume. And the perfume itself looks like this. It's really pretty. I love this bottle. It's so cute. The almost coral design up here is really nice, and it has a little. Well, it looks like some type of a family crest on the tag here, and on the back it says Vince Camuto. It's Fiori. Um, this one is definitely, yeah, I'd say just a a very, very fresh citrusy kind of scent to it. Um, not offensive at all. I wish it did last a little bit longer, but it's really pretty. So if you like those kind of fragrances, um, I definitely recommend this one because this one is just really that, really so nice. Um, I'm just going to put it back in this package for now just so I don't break it. But that was initially what I ended up getting. I originally was going to get it from Macy's, but I didn't end up getting it there because I was I was badgered uh, so much there before because, and I'm not trying to slam Macy's or anything, but if you've shopped at Macy's before, a lot of times they don't come off as friendly as more they do aggressive. And I get that they want to make the commission, but it's just sometimes it's kind of frustrating when you want to go in there to either shop or look. And I was just really angry that day when I got badgered so much because I had like four or five of them just like, how are you today? And I, I just left because it was just really frustrating. So I ended up getting it at Perfumania. And that was the fragrance I was going to get. Um, and because I got it at Perfumania, they have, some, if you've been there before, you know they have something called the Manager Special, which is basically where they offer certain select fragrances uh, for a cheaper price. And the one I ended up getting, uh, you get them if uh, you spend $50 or more, you qualify for the Manager Special. And the perfume I ended up getting was this one, which is Nicole Miller, by Nicole Miller. Um, it was originally, I think it was originally $65, and it was $20 with the manager special, but it's actually a really nice perfume. Um, you can see the bottle, it says Nicole Miller, and it's cool, it kind of has like a Celtic uh, flower design to it. On the back it says, Nicole Miller captures the spirit of playful femininity, elegance, and modern sophistication in her new fragrance by weaving subtle sexiness together with warm sensuality. 
I don't know if it really does all that, but it just at least smells really nice. Uh, inside packaging is kind of cool too. Um, if you can see, it has like these kind of funky patterns in here. And there's some padding in there too for the actual bottle so it's not going to shake all over the box. And it comes out and it looks like this. I do like the Celtic design on this. This is really cool. Um, so I do like that about the perfume. And just the bottle itself is kind of funky looking. But this one is... I don't know what... This one's kind of hard to describe. But this one I'd say is maybe more of like a an earthy, kind of musky kind of smell to it. It's definitely not fruity or sweet, but it definitely has florals in it, kind of herbal, but earthy. It's it, it's a nice perfume. It's it's very pleasant, because a while ago I ended up getting the body cream, which I really like, and this one is just kind of like the matching perfume to go with it, to layer it, and I don't know. I just, I like it a lot, so I ended up getting that one. Um, I originally did want to give it to my mom, but she didn't like it, so it's like, all right, so I'll, I'll take it. But I do like it, um, so I'm really happy I ended up getting this one and Fiori. But um, they're definitely two perfumes worth getting, or at least worth checking out. And I'll definitely be back in there, I'm sure, because I do love getting stuff at Perfumania. I mean, I've definitely cooled down on, on buying too many perfumes because uh, I used to have so many, but I've definitely cooled down on buying so many and just limiting it, limiting it to what I what I want or what I really like. So again, this is also, this is Fiori, by Vince Camuto, and the other one was Nicole Miller by Nicole Miller. So that's pretty much the two latest things that I ended up getting or the two stores I ended up shopping at. Um, so this is kind of my first haul video. Hopefully it wasn't horrible, and I hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully it'll give you some insight on whether or not if you want to shop at these stores. Um, soon I'll try to do, I may end up trying to upload a birthday haul because my birthday's next week, so, um, and I'll probably end up getting something. I'm almost thinking of getting something at either like Sephora or Macy's. Like I'm, I'm almost thinking of like a Chanel perfume or something, but we'll have to see. So um, if I do end up getting something that day, I'll definitely try to upload it as soon as I can, and I'll try to be better about that. But I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.